A statewide trucker protest has entered its fourth day, leading to a near-complete halt of all the operations at the Port of Oakland. The port's director is calling the protest a serious threat to business. But as CrowdForce Charles Clifford tells us, organizers are showing no signs of stopping. Well, right now I'm standing along Middle Harbor Boulevard, the Port of Oakland, and normally this time of day there would be thousands of trucks going in and out, picking up, dropping off loads, but that has all come to a stop, and that's because many truckers right now are protesting, blocking the entrances to the port. They have been here since Monday. Now, these protesters are upset about AB5, which was passed into law a couple of years ago here in California. It requires that many independent contractors, including Lyft drivers, Uber drivers, become employees of the companies they work for. That law also now applies to the independent contractors who work here at the port, and they are not happy about that. They don't want to be employees of the shipping companies, and they also don't want to have to go through the hassle, the legal loopholes, and the financial burdens of creating their own company and then continuing to work here. I talked to one truck driver, his name is Carlos. He says the financial burden of doing all that would be just too much. It would put us out of business. I don't have my own yard, I own one truck. That's what, uh, if you read the whole bill, that's what it entails me to do. I can't do that. I would have to charge $10,000 a load to go 30 miles in order to pay all that. There are also trucking companies here at the Port of Oakland who maybe just own a handful of trucks who are also opposed to AB5. These guys want to pay, get paid by the move. They want to work their own loads. They want to choose which direction they're going to go into. Now, in a statement, the Port of Oakland, Danny Wan, the executive director of the Port of Oakland, said, we understand the frustration expressed by the protesters at California ports, but prolonged stoppage of port operations in California for any reason will damage all the businesses operating at the ports and cause California ports to further suffer market share losses to competing ports. Now, at this point, it's unclear how long uh, this protest will continue. Certainly the people out here today say they plan to stay until some changes are made or they're given an exemption to AB5. But for now, in Oakland, Charles Clifford at Cronfor News.